It's six o'clock. Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak. It's Monday the 5th of September. Today's big story, a fast food revolution. The Big Mac joins the battle against obesity from this week. McDonald's will show how many calories are in its burgers. But will it change the way we eat? And a million children may be going back to school with vision problems because they haven't had eye tests. And Dan's got the sport. Morning. Overnight, Andy Murray eased his way into the fourth round of the US Open. Details to come. And what happened next? This, the moment Rafael Nadal collapsed at a press conference in New York. We will reveal all. Steve's got the showbiz. Maybe he's just gone weak at the knees about Justin Timberlake. Uh, he's heard he's on Daybreak today. Kate got to go and meet him, yeah. along with his co-star Mila Kunis, to their new movie, Friends with Benefits. Find out what they had to say to Kate later on. Yeah. Kirsty, how's your weather today? Thank you, Steve. Autumn has definitely arrived. The whole of this week looking a little bit miserable, in fact. Today, very breezy with showers for most of us. Top temperature of just 20 Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit. Thanks, Kirsty. All that and the quarter past every hour, of course, what's going on in your region, including the weather and the travel. First, let's get the news from Tasman. Morning, Tasman. Thank you, Adrian. Good morning. One of the world's... Shortly first, let's get the news, weather and travel from our ITV colleagues around the country. Good morning and welcome to the news headlines from the calendar region. A retired primary school headteacher is due to be sentenced today after he admitted making indecent images of children. 73-year-old Terry Ladlow, who lives at Hunmanby in North Yorkshire, has admitted 23 couples on the show. Newlyweds Prince Albert of Monaco and his wife Princess Charlene jetted into Yorkshire this weekend to lend their support to a local charity. Find out why at 6 o'clock. But that's all for now. Now back to daybreak. Morning fast approaching 20 past six. Time for sport. Andy Murray was... So let's, get the, uh, let's get the weather from Kirsty. <laughs> yeah, my husband actually had laser eye surgery done the other day to get rid of the old glasses. It's a, certainly an issue for many of us. Luckily, well, you don't need glasses on to look at what's happening with the weather this week. It's autumnal out there. Let's take a look at the details. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's nearly 6.30 now in the uh, next half an hour as the 10th anniversary of September the 11th approaches. We hear from a survivor of the terrorist attacks on the Twin Towers. Plus the unwanted moggies. Why the nation seems to have fallen out of love with black and white cats. And in 25 minutes, the return of the romantic comedy. In a room that looks like it might belong to her nan, uh, Kate speaks to Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis about their new film, Friends with Benefits. They were quite a long way away from me, weren't they? Yes. It looked like they'd sat right well back. <laughs> and rightly so. Uh, let's, let's get the news now from Tasman. Thank you, Adrian. Good morning. One of the world's big... Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak. It's Monday the 5th of September. Today's big story, the Big Mac joins the battle against obesity. From this week, McDonald's will show how many calories are in its burgers, but will it change the way we eat? Dan's got the sport for us. Morning. Five days until the start of the Rugby World Cup for England. We've got some breaking news concerning the captain to come. Overnight, Andy Murray eased his way into the fourth round of the US Soper. We'll show you how he got on. And what happened next? This, the moment Rafael Nadal collapsed at a press conference in New York, will reveal all shortly. Steve's got the showbiz. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right, really. Uh, it, it's been a big uh, rating success for ITV over the weekend. The new game show, of course, Red or Black, with us all week. And we've had a couple of winners last night. We had this guy, Kevin. There he was. Become a millionaire on the show. He'll be on the sofa to tell us what it feels like to win the money. Kirsty had your weather. We're playing our own version of Red or Black today. It's called Sunshine or Showers. And I think for many of us, I'd put my money on showers. Quite blustery as well in the south. Autumn has definitely arrived. Right, you too. Thanks, Kirsty. All that to come. And in the next hour, two millionaires in two days talking to the second winner from Red or Black, Kevin Cartwright, about his lucky break. And uh, we'll be going back to school. Mortified with, him, by him, with embarrassment by a former teacher playing a picture of me in a school play. It's gruesome. You might Ooh, want to share it with me. Is that you snogging? Mm. I loved oh. her and she didn't love me back. There you go. 
story of your life. And uh, might be he might be riding high in torture, but he's also got time for us. John Barrowman is singing live on the programme this morning. Oh, that's put up past every hour. What's going on where you are, including your weather and travel? Both let's get a news update for you, though. Here's Tasman. Thank you, Kate. Good morning. At one. We asked for your pictures of oh, your kids well, on their first day at school in their brand new uniforms. Let's have a look at George on his first day as a junior Yay! in Surrey. Yay! Rather less pleased is uh, <laughs> Sophie in Belfast. Uh, <laughs> All right, Sophie. Not quite so sure about it. No, it's Thanks a for your coming feeling. today. Have a great day. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs> Hello there. Good morning to you, pop star Peter.